Okay. I was going to talk about something else, but then I decided, as I was thinking about it, no, I don't want to. I want to talk about this idea. Because this has been something that's uh, become very important to me. And I don't think too many people think too much about it. Because when you, uh, when you look at the idea, uh, sort of like a door that you could walk into and think about, the door looks rather plain. And don't we all have so much more to do and more important things to do? But I'm going to say right now, this is a worthwhile door to go through. When you look at your neighbors, your friends, people on the street, in the store, they seem so different from you in a lot of different ways, how they look, how they speak, where they come from, what they believe. And that's beautiful. I'm glad we have that variation. The difference, good God, if the world were populated by me, I'd be bored as hell. The truth. But you have to walk through that door to know this truth. And it's so simple. And yet it requires a little introspection. And because of my life, that's where I've been introspection reading so I walked into this through that door inadvertently because I had to but beneath the surface of all this variation this wonderful infinite variation of humanity is the singular truth that underneath we are all exactly the same If Fred in Idaho hurts, and I in New York hurt, it's the same hurt. And even though the reasons compel the hurt, the reasons that compel the hurt are a little different. The type of hurt is the same hurt. And it's the same solution for both. The truth is that everybody who is listening to this is exactly like me underneath the surface. Anything I talk about, about what I've been through, is the same in a way, underneath. Once you take the clothes off, the issue, the reasons for the issues, the issues themselves are the same. We are like a generically functioning process wrapped in infinite variation. I work the same as you. You work the same as I underneath the differences. That's very important. Because this has been talked about through the ages. To thine own self be true. The truth shall set you free. There are reasons those phrases became popular. It's just in this day and age when you have to run and do this and run and do that. And there's other things that are more important to think about. I got to pay my rent. I got to pay all these bills. I got to, oh my God, I got to, I got to, I got to. You don't realize that by considering the nature and the idea that beneath the surface we are the same can actually bring you some benefit. You start to realize you're not so different. You start to realize your problems are not so different. You start to realize that there's more there are more people out there that who can who can help you 
who can uh, uh, connect with you, that you can connect with, that you can feel a part of. Now, granted, yes, there are people in the world whose interests are not in line with mine, so yeah, I can be friendly with them, but I don't necessarily want to go and have coffee with them. But if it came to helping them with something that's affecting them deeply inside, I know that I can be confident in what I say because I know that at the heart of their pain it's the same at the heart of the conflict at the heart of the issue it's the same as it would be for me we might have to weed through the surface context to get to the heart And I know that causes problems with the idea of, you know, again, I'll bring him up, Hitler. And people who have done some horrible things in this world. But yes, underneath, they are the same too. Why they, do those, they did those things and why people do those kind of things. The destructive, mean, cruel. That I don't know for sure. I haven't talked to anybody really like that to get any kind of perspective. But the one thing I do know, at least uh, as far as dealing with everyday people, I know underneath everyone I meet, I'm meeting the same person. And this has been said in metaphysics and the Namaste. Uh, reflects that idea that uh, you know, we're the same. Uh, sometimes I think metaphysics uh, replaced religion for being a little bit over the top. Metaphysics has a lot of great ideas, but they present them in their own kind of uh, over the top. Uh, let's distract from the truth of the idea and let's focus on some kind of weird... Uh, esotericness of it but it's not esoteric because quite frankly Fred the farmer in Idaho can become aware of this just as simply as uh, you know some psychic woman metaphysics you know professional whatever because it's simply just looking at who we are inside Takes a little work to go into that introspection. You have to be completely honest with yourself to avoid the, the lies you've already created in order to hold on to things you don't need to. So maybe I will touch a little before I go too long on what I was going to talk about. I came to understand something of myself in terms of my recovery. My life is becoming kind of like a placid pond. Don't get me wrong, it is not that wonderfully peaceful yet. But that's what it's becoming. This placid, glass-like surface pond. And I have this pain in my life and it would look like a uh, a whirlpool in the pond not huge but pre present and the effects of that whirlpool would be felt in the other parts of the pond that were pleasant but generally I stay away from the whirlpool try to focus on the placidness but every once in a while You'll hear a song, or some type of music, or you'll meet a circumstance that is reminiscent of the uh, circumstance within the pain. And you feel yourself sucked into the whirlpool. Now suddenly you are in the pain. And the motion of the whirlpool 
distorts and fogs over your mind so that you're not seeing clearly. The truth of that pain is you can't fix it. The circumstances that created it have already existed and have already created the pain. The pain is there. So the trick is to focus on present moment. You focus on your here and now. And there's one thing though I realized about that pain. You can't fix it. You can't go back into the past and you can't change it. But there's one thing you can do. Like Louise Hay said, the power is in the present moment. Because that's where the true motion of life is. So the trick is, the better you make your present moment, the less you feel the pain of the past. But in order to change the present moment, you have to be in it. You can't change it from the pain of the past. Because otherwise you're really just stuck in a whirlpool. And you're not even connected to the placid lake or pond. So if you want to get rid of the past, fix the lies that connect you to it to let it go, but focus on the here and now. Focus on making here and now better. Because you deserve it. You deserve to have a better here and now. And why do I say you deserve it? Never having met you. Because I know myself. Because I realize that underneath the diversity and the infinite variation, we are the same. So as long as I know who I am, I can say without reservation that you deserve a happy present moment.